mentioned the term tech star. So obviously you boots you bootstrapped it, didn't pay yourselves, um, <laughs> and so where where did the money come from while you're doing this? Because that's a question a lot of want to be entrepreneurs do and existing entrepreneurs. So you still got to put food on the table, look after the family. So yeah. where did the money come from while you were bootstrapping, not paying yourself for for years? Or you know, I, I think there's um, you know special moments in your life where you can take on much of the risk associated with entrepreneurship, especially first time entrepreneurship. It's a little bit different for those that are at their, you know, second, third or fourth rodeo. Uh, but, you know, I consulted, uh, my co-founders also consulted, uh, we freelanced, we consulted, and we were able to pay our own bills while we put everything into the business. And we actually gave ourselves a two year timeline where we were just going to focus on the business, know that some of our time was going to be carved off for consulting and freelancing and decided we would check in with each other. We checked in often actually on the subject, but officially would check in about the two year mark and decide, is this something that we still want to hack at? Is it, do we think this could be an actual business? And it, it just so happened that around that mark, we got into Techstars and we, shine, we, we assigned Chevrolet and were able to uh, start to not only put money into the business, but also pay ourselves a very small salary. So that's also something to consider if you're looking at entrepreneurship, you know, you're not looking at a market rate that you're going to be earning. It's really the upside of creating something amazing and beautiful that could be valued um, at something much larger than it starts at. That's the, that's the dream. Mm. So it's, it's dreaming about growing it to something significant and makes a, a big difference. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And I think entrepreneurs are, or founders or, you know, solopreneurs or, you know, we're all motivated by different, different things. Um, and so it's important to find what's your risk tolerance and, and what motivates you. What, what do you want to bring as your offering that helps you uniquely understand what's, what part of this process um, or journey is, is worth it to you because it definitely is a crazy roller coaster ride of, of ups and downs. <laughs>